Disturbing pictures of a Schofield soldier who was born and raised in Hawaii being an ISIS sympathizer. Federal prosecutors released the photos today to support their motion that Ikaika Kang should remain in custody in a federal prison. The photos show Kang displaying an ISIS flag. In another photo, prosecutors say Kang is kissing the flag. Manolo Morales follows up. Manolo. Joe Kang's attorney did not object to the prosecutor's motion to keep his client in custody. He says it's because he wants Kang to undergo a full mental health evaluation, and he says the Army should have done it years ago. The photos are dark and grainy. One shows Kang with a mask and a rifle, prosecutors say, teaching weapons tactics to people he believed were ISIS fighters. Kang's attorney counters all this by questioning his client's mental health, and he says Kang should have been examined years ago. I think at that point there should have been somebody to step in. That the government should have, you know, offered a hand to pull him back. But instead, it looks like they just pushed him and pushed him. Federal agents arrested Kang in his home in Royal Kenya Saturday. Court documents say that same day Kang pledged his allegiance to ISIS and threatened to kill people. Prosecutors say they have been investigating him for about a year. But documents also show that Kang had showed his sympathy for ISIS back in 2011. His attorney says the Army should have given him a mental evaluation then instead of having federal agents pose as ISIS sympathizers. You know, it looks to me that uh, they've exploited uh, his mental illness and uh, just thrown, again, gasoline on the fire of his mental illness and to get him to commit a crime that they could arrest him for. Would that be entrapment? That sounds pretty close to that, doesn't it? Kang's father was in tears when he saw his son in the courtroom today. He was hoping he could get a chance to talk to him, but that never happened. In fact, Kang never even looked towards the gallery while he was in the courtroom. We spoke with his father before the hearing. What is it you would like to say to him if you have the opportunity to talk to him? Just hold him there. You have a support group. Just relax. And uh, I'll be there for him. And it's like the old uh, Navy saying, we don't leave our men behind. It's not clear when and where the mental evaluation will take place. Kang is scheduled for a preliminary hearing on July 24th. We will let you know what happens. Manolo Morales, KHON, 2 News.